Hey everyone, John Lindquist here. Let's get Molehill set up as quick as humanly possible so you can start playing with it now. Uh, so there's three things you need to download. The first one is the Flex SDK, the second being the Player Global SWIC, and the third being my little patch here, um, which will patch the Flex SDK. So once you have those downloaded, and I'll provide the links uh, on my blog beneath this video, once you have those downloaded, just drop them into any folder. I'm gonna call this uh, C Molehill. And first, uh, extract the Flex SDK. So I'm just going to extract here. And through the magic of modern video editing, I'm going to cut this portion out. OK, now that that's done extracting, we'll take the Flash Player Global Swick, which you downloaded. We will cut this, cut, and drop it into Frameworks, Libs, next to all these other Swicks, and paste it. So we have it in there. Go back to where we have the our patch. We'll extract this here. We will select all of this, copy or cut, whatever, and then double click in here and paste. Um, I'm just gonna say yes for everything and yes for everything. Now our Flex SDK is patched with Mohill and Away 3D Swick. Uh, change the Flex config to always use Swift version 13 and changed the index HTML template to always use the WMO Direct. Now that we have that set up, we can launch Flash Builder or your preferred IDE will be very similar setup to this. Now that Flash Builder is open, we're gonna configure our Flex SDKs. So we'll go to new ActionScript project and we'll go to configure Flex SDKs add a new one, we'll browse to C Molehill and Flex SDK. Click OK. Uh, we'll actually name this Molehill since that's all it's gonna be used for. Click OK. And now it's on our list. Hit apply, OK. Use a specific Flex SDK, choose Molehill. Name our project, hello Molehill. And click finish. Now, once that is set up, since this already has the Away 3D SWIC in our uh, patched SDK, we can actually start uh, just writing Away 3D code here. I'm not that used to Flash Builder, so I may make mistakes with uh, what I'm writing, but hopefully not. Uh, so we need a view, a cube, and uh, I think that's about it. So view will be a new view 3D and we'll have to add that to stage and our cube will be a new cube and oh, it's the material that's what I need. So material is going to be a color material, new color material. We'll make it red and pass it into our cube here. And now that we've set up our cube, we can add a cube to our views scene. Add child cube. And we can start the render loop. So we'll go event, enter frame, on enter frame. probably tell that I haven't used Flash Builder in a while. And then uh, we'll go view render. And let's also spin our cube. So color material, I swear I typed red in there, must have. All right, so everything's set up hit run and assuming you have the new flash player installed you can see you have the incubator build installed you can see my crappy little cube spinning and everything is up and running so that is the quickest way i know how to get started with molehill and away 3d uh, look more into the away 3d examples to do much cooler uh much cooler samples of what you can actually do. This is probably the absolute worst thing you could do. So uh, there you go. Have fun with it.